I am here in Athens, Greece at a place called the Zapio. And this is actually the site of the first Olympic village in 1896. But later, this building behind me was used by, uh, by the Greek government to sign into the European Union. Probably the worst decision Greece has ever made. But uh, I want to do a video on Joe Biden's speech. And I thought I would come here to do a quick take on, uh, on the speech that Biden gave yesterday with regards to Afghanistan. And this is probably one of the final speeches we'll, uh, we'll hear, scripted speeches we'll hear from Joe Biden. And uh, what did I say yesterday in my video? I said that they are pulling Jedi mind tricks on us. That's what they're trying to do. I don't think anyone's buying it, but that's their, uh, that's their plan. Extraordinary success. That is what Biden called it. An extraordinary success. The Afghanistan pullout, all of it was a success. Don't believe anything, anything you see in, uh, in the media. Don't believe the videos. Don't believe the Kabul attack, the terrorist attack by the Special K. That's what I'll call them to avoid the YouTube censors. Don't believe any of that stuff. The injured, the murdered, the soldiers that gave their life, none of it. According to Joe Biden, this was an extraordinary success. Oh, and um, by the way, it's such a success, according to Joe Biden, that 90%, everybody, 90% of everyone that wanted out of Afghanistan got out of Afghanistan. 90% success rate. That's, uh, that's an A minus, isn't it? Remember from my university days in the US, 90. A minus, not bad, Joe Biden, not bad at all. 90% of everyone that wanted out of Afghanistan got out. Now is that 90% of a thousand people, Joe? Or is that 90% of 10,000, 100,000? 10% of the people are left in Afghanistan. Exactly what is that number? Is it 100 people? Is it 1,000 people? Is it 10,000 people that are left in Afghanistan? American citizens? I'll tell you one thing. The Biden administration left the dogs. They left all the canines, the military dogs. They just left them behind. Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care about the dog. Just, just leave them all there. Who cares? Oh, and I read an article that uh, 12, 12 uh, school children from California are also stuck in Afghanistan. From, uh, I believe, uh, San Juan or Sacramento, somewhere around there. I'll pull up the article. I'll find the article. So they're also stuck in Afghanistan. That's part of the 10% that was uh, left behind. Or that wanted to stay, according to the Biden administration, because according to them, being stuck in Afghanistan, being part of the 10% is just, you know, kind of like, I don't know, missing your flight or, I don't know, having some visa issues or something or, or forgetting your passport at the hotel. I don't know, according to Joe Biden, that's just, yeah. We'll get them out via diplomatic means. Not an issue. Anthony Blinken is on the case. <laughs> so a military mom who lost her, uh, her son during the uh, Kabul strike, terrorist attack, she, uh, she got on Facebook and Instagram and she, uh, she criticized the Biden administration a, grieve, a grieving mother went on social media and criticized the Biden administration. What happened? Facebook banned her. Instagram completely deplatformed her. A grieving mother. A grieving mother they deplatform. You're telling me this, uh, this stuff is, is, is not out of control? It's completely out of control. You're telling me that Facebook doesn't take orders from the Biden White House? Of course they take orders from the Biden White House. What a, what a big, uh, I don't even want to say mess. This is, this is going to, uh, 
is going to haunt the United States for, for decades to come. And instead of Biden just reading a script which takes some accountability, has some sort of an apology written in there, they do the exact reverse. Nothing to see here. Everything went smooth. America, everything was, was great. Extraordinary success. Don't believe your eyes, don't believe your ears, don't believe anything. We're telling you it was a success. And if anyone dare get on social media to say otherwise, we're going to ban them and block them. That's the message. That is the, uh, the message. Oh, and by the way, Jake Sullivan was on Good Morning America. And uh, the National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan. And he said to Good Morning America that if uh, the Taliban behave in a proper way, then the United States will give them money. You say we're going to work with the Taliban. Does that include the prospect of giving them aid? Well, first of all, we do believe that there is an important dimension of humanitarian assistance that should go directly to the people of Afghanistan. They need help with respect to health and food aid and other forms of subsistence, and we do intend to continue that. Secondly, when it comes to our economic and development assistance relationship with the Taliban, that will be about the Taliban's actions. It will be about whether they follow through on their commitments, their commitments to safe passage for Americans and Afghan allies, their commitment to not allow Afghanistan to be uh, a, a base from which terrorists can attack the United States or any other country, their commitments with respect to upholding their international obligations it's going to be up to them aid they will give them aid as well so how about that how about you know pouring some more salt in the wound there jake sullivan all right everybody that's the video that's the rant i don't have much else to say but uh shame on uh shame on the script writers in and around biden and oh, and, and when Biden, one last thing, when Biden was uh, was ending his press conference, he took no questions. And then as he was about to leave, it looked like he was going to come back and answer some questions. Uh uh, he just came back to grab his mask. So the theater continues. All the theater continues. All right, guys. The Durand.locals.com. Take care.